Hi everyone, Vic here and thanks for tuning in today. So we're going to take a look at a painting I've just finished. So um, I forget, this is the second one in the series I've done. Well, I say series. First one, the client gave me some quite specific instructions what they wanted. Kind of follows the same um, recipe for this one, except this one is in uh, black and white basically. So we've got a nice grey background. The background has got a very slight texture to it, if I can try and pick that up. And then the middle bit is the stretched amalgamation. So as you can see, if I can catch the light on that, nah, just about, the actual centerpiece is quite glossy. Oops, excuse the finger. And we're just picking up a the light there. The size of this panel is um, 12 inches square. And it is a panel, it's not a stretched canvas. Um, when I'm doing these kind of works, I tend to use a panel because it just offers a bit more stability when you're doing the amalgamation design in the middle. The amalgamation design is a stretched amalgamation. So what I mean by that is the actual design is pulled across from one edge to the other. And this particular design was quite difficult to do because obviously what I do is I draw the circle after I've done the background and then it's up to me to actually make sure I don't go over the edge of that circle. So it's done freehand, I don't mask it or anything, and it just gives it a nice clean finish. But they are very difficult to do, this is the second one I've done like this. And they are a bit of a challenge, but it's one of those things that's been the right, right frame of mind to tackle it. But if you're in the right frame of mind, it'll go fine. So as you can see, I've got to the edges there, and the, the, the design is slightly more compact at the edges, purely because I have to load it onto the brush and drag it across. So it's quite an, quite an unusual style of painting, amalgamation paintings that I discovered about 20 years ago. I sort of mucked around with the idea how I could actually control the paint in a particular way. And this is just one variation on that theme. So it's got a nice recessed back on this, so it's nice and easy to hang. It will hang flat against the wall, which is always quite nice. Uh, give it a nice smooth finish. We signed on the back. Comes with a certificate of authenticity, which is a word I always usually struggle with. Authenticity, okay, and um, yeah, so very happy with this way it turned out. Client, I think is quite happy. I've sent them a video, paintings, uh, sorry, pictures. If I do commission work, you always get videos and photos as it progresses. Happy to discuss any ideas. If anybody's got any ideas of something that I'd like to incorporate with my style of work, and that's always nice to hear from you. So if you like what you've seen, please give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to showing you more work soon. Please check out the other videos. There's lots and lots of work on here. And you can check out the website. The website is victilson.art. That's V-I-K-T-I-L-S-O-N dot art. Where you can see my back catalogue and some paintings for sale. And read a little bit of blurb about me. So thanks a lot for your time. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen here. And uh, please check out the other videos. Thanks a lot.